Hi, everybody. Before you take your final reading check over the novel Red Kayak, I wanted to talk to you about a couple things. First of all, the reading check will include some multiple choice just to see how well you understood the novel. But mainly, um, the test will be a written response about theme. So I wanted to make sure everybody remembered what theme meant. So first of all, theme is a message about life that a writer wants you to understand, a life lesson or a moral. So you can see down here, I have some example themes. Don't judge a book by its cover or treat others the way you want to be treated. Keep trying no matter what. Don't give up hope. Try hard the first time. Now, all of those are themes or life lessons. Now, don't get confused by a topic. For instance, somebody might tell you, well, the theme is kindness. Kindness may be a topic relating to the theme, but the theme might be the lesson, treat others the way you want to be treated, and it would relate to the topic of kindness. Or somebody might say, well, the, the theme is greed. No, a topic in there is greed, but the theme might be to be generous with what you have. So again, the theme is the life lesson or the moral. Now, we've also talked about recurring themes, and actually all of these down here are recurring themes. Re-occur, meaning they keep happening, they keep popping up. So you'll see recurring themes in many different stories. Now, in ELA this year, we talked about four big clues that we often use to help us find the theme. And it totally depends on the story, but those four we talked about were the title, the main conflict, the characters, and symbols, if there's a symbol in there that has a deeper meaning, that is. Now, for Red Kayak, the two that I really think will help you find the theme would be the conflict and the characters. So we're going to look at a couple questions relating to those two clues. So first of all, for the conflict in there, here's what I want you to think about, and I'm not going to give you the answer, but I want you to think about it. Okay, so if you think our main character is Brady, what big conflict does Brady face throughout the novel? Okay, so think about what is the big conflict or problem he faces throughout the novel. Now, then here's the bigger question. How is that conflict resolved? Meaning, how does it end? Okay, and is the reader led to believe that this was a good ending, that this was a just ending? Okay, so think about the problem with Brady knowing about what JT and Digger did by drilling the holes in the kayak. Think about then how that conflict is resolved at the end and how the reader, you know, feels about how that conflict ended. Also think about the characters. If you think, well, how does the character respond to the conflict? So how does Brady react to this problem throughout? How does he feel about it? Um, and then the bigger one is then, well, what do the characters learn by the end? Or how do the characters change by the end? So you can think, well, what do you think Brady realized or learned by the end of the book? And also you can pay attention to JT and Digger and think about, well, how did their perspective change by the end? What did all of them learn? If you think about those questions, I think you'll be able to figure out, okay, what's the theme of this book? What is the author trying to teach me? What life lesson could I take away based on especially what the characters learned by the end? What life lesson could we take away? Now, here's your written response question on the test. It's what is the overall theme of the story? Use textual evidence to support and explain your answer. Be sure to write in complete sentences and proofread for correct punctuation. So I'm hoping all of you are thinking, well, how could I set this up? And I'm hoping you said, oh, an ape. And reminder, in seventh grade, we expect you to use multiple pieces of textual evidence to support your answer. So I would suggest setting that up as A-P-E-P-E. -P -E. So you would start with your A, answer the question. Okay, well, the question was, what is the theme of the story? So you want to use those keywords from the prompt question, include the author and title. So in Red Kayak by Priscilla Cummings, the main theme is... And you answer the question of what you think the main theme or lesson is. Then prove it with textual evidence. Now, textual evidence can be quoted, but honestly, I think most of you do much better when you put that textual evidence in your own words. 
So you don't even necessarily have to find it in the book. Just put examples in your own words. Since this is from a whole book, we are not going to require in-text citations with page numbers. So no page numbers needed. So I would actually suggest giving examples in your own words to prove that theme. Don't forget to then explain how that example answers the question. How does that example prove that's the theme? How does that example prove we should learn this? And then reminder, you want to use multiple pieces of textual evidence. So you just did APE. We'll then give an additional proof. So another P and then explain that one as well. Okay, so APE, PE. You've got this. Good luck.